In this video, I want to give you some tiling tips on a bathroom floor and specifically for a bathroom with a curbless shower. So as you can see here, this is basically a five foot wide shower, curbless entry, and I always recommend you start with the outside floor first. So we're going to go third pattern on these. So every eight inches we'll have a joint. And typically in a five foot bathroom, you can just Start with a full tile where your most visible wall is, which would be this wall. This one's going to have a big vanity in it, and then you're going to have a toilet. So if you cut an inch off of a tile back here, was, there's no actually absolutely no big deal. That's usually what happens. You set this, and then you'll have basically a one-inch cut off of this back edge. So let's just take a look at what that looks like. We're going to use 16th inch grout joints. You're taking a half inch off of one of these tile to go up here. So this cut side where the vanity is, that's where I'm going to do it. I'd rather just have a nice straight piece coming down along the side here. Um, and as far as squareness goes, the only reference that we're doing for that, we're going to kind of pay attention to our wall a little bit, but we're going to be more focused on the shower. So you can sure this stays square with the wall because obviously I'm going to be installing some tile in the shower and the, if you have this being square, it'll make everything else easier. So we'll go ahead and cut some of these. Now let's see what the full width of this is. So 24 or 23 and 5 eighths, close enough. We'll go like seven and three quarter inch pieces. So I like using this Montelit slide cutter here. So we'll just go something like this, this. So the other thing I'll just pay attention to is where this ends up with my doorway, because I obviously don't want anything really small at my doorway coming in here. So that leaves seven and three quarter inch piece. So that's gonna work out fine. You'll have pretty much even, even cuts on either side. I'll be coming into the doorway just a little bit more, but uh, we're gonna have our transition right at the doorway. We're gonna be putting a Schluter edge right against the edge. So that, that'll work out just fine. So we're just gonna start our way from this side, work our way over, and then whatever cuts we have on that side, that's what we'll work with. Okay, so we're gonna use a Euro notch trowel. So this is kind of pretty much a quarter by three eighths inch notch trowel. It just has some half inch indentations here. But this Euro trowel, it's a little bit of a funky trowel size, but basically this, get, this is made for large format tile. So you always wanna go with a bigger size trowel. Um, you know, if you had an un, unflat floor for any reason, go with a half inch by half inch square notch trowel. To get the thicker the thin set layer, the better it is for you to maneuver things. But if you have a fairly flat floor, I would probably go with a Euro trowel or a quarter by three eighths inch trowel. Um, quarter by quarter is probably too small, but it really all depends on what kind of coverage you're getting. And the only way you can tell that is by lifting a piece of tile and seeing if, if the uh, thin set is actually covering on everything. So let's go ahead and put our thin set down. Okay, so you want to fill the entire waffle. So I just so I always use again, just use the back side of my trowel, and then just make sure you fill this entire waffle of the Dietra mat, and then just do directional troweling. using the flat side of the trowel and just coating that whole back. Okay, so then let's just make sure this is 32. Yeah, it's 32. Okay, and then you just wanna make sure you stay square with your pan. That's the most important thing because you don't wanna, it just make it, it'll make it harder for you to do the shower pan if you, if you're not square with this. And then we're gonna be using T-lock leveling clips. 
So this is just a clip and wedge system. It helps keep that lippage in between the tiles even. And if you just remove a little bit of the thin set right along the edge of this, it'll try to prevent a little bit of this thin set from oozing up from these using these tile spacers. Okay, so we'll be using this Schluter Rondek. So it's basically just a profile edging brush nickel. Okay, so we're gonna measure straight up to that. Okay, we got seven, seven and a half. So we'll cut a piece of tile for that. So this is definitely one nice thing about using those leveling clips is that you can actually go ahead and kneel and walk on the tile when the thin set is uh, fresh. 
So as long as you're getting good coverage underneath of those tiles, uh, it's not going to interrupt or cause any problems by you actually walking on it. Now, you won't want to do this after things really start setting up. You don't want to be disturbing the bond of the thin set. But, you know, right at this point, this is great. It makes it easy to be able to get into those tight situations in bathrooms and get it all done in, in one setting. And then I would suggest taking those clips out the next morning and then you can go ahead and set your shower tile. Now this really makes it easy now that you have the outside floor done. You can really even up the tiles inside the shower to be even with the outside floor. So I hope some of those tips have helped you out. Uh, be sure to check out the links below. I have some courses available if you need guidance step by step through the whole process of bathroom remodeling. Uh, it's definitely that resource there to help you. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.